Hi there and thank you for stopping by today. My name is Mohammad Farooq Anwar. Today I just want to start off with a basic overview of FaaS, function as a service. And whether FaaS and serverless are the same thing. It is hard to define FaaS without understanding about its neighbors. Platform as a service PaaS and software as a service SaaS. I recommend you to watch my previous videos on PaaS and SaaS. FaaS sits somewhere between PaaS and SaaS. PaaS took the abstraction level further, so with this model, now you are just maintaining the application, and the time to provision and to get your application out the door is much shorter as well. To abstract the application layer, a new cloud computing service model was emerged, that is function as a service or FaaS. So now you can only focus on the functions, and the functions are the individual components that actually make up the application. So it would be the individual tasks. You know something like uploading an image. You just have so much more flexibility, and you have zero idle time. So you don't even need a server. That is all managed and taken care for you by the cloud service provider. It is much more cost effective, and the time to provision with function and service is very very fast. Moving abstraction layer further, SaaS abstracts all the IT stack layer. Including the functions or function as a service, and if you are watching this video on YouTube, that would be an example of software as a service. So now take a look at how function as a service relate to serverless, and take a look at the architecture. Function as a service is actually a key subset of serverless, as well as backend as a service. Backend as a service is any third party service that you integrate with your application. and the great thing about it is there is no code that you need to manage and there are no servers so let's take a look at what a serverless fast application architecture might look like and let's use an example of something like user picture resizing so we will start here with our client interacting with a web app which is based on serverless architecture web app is interacting with api gateway api gateway routes towards content service and user service Content service is interacting with external API and user service is interacting with an external database. Here, content service and user service can be implemented using function as a service. For example, AWS Lambda. Using FaaS, the engineers have to only write the code for the functional aspect of the service or business logic of the service. You can write the function in your language of choice, such as Java, Python. For this example. you only need to write the function for image processing for resizing and configure the compute resource requirement the execution and scalability aspect will be taken care by the serverless provider for example aws function as a service is essentially a small piece of code written by developer that are executed in the cloud and run on stateless containers and what this means is that functions do their job and then they disappear This leads to first key benefit: you only pay for what you use. Because unlike other cloud computing service model, you always got to pay for some idle time. Even in a platform as a service based application, you are responsible for at least one single server. It is being built even if you are using it or not. So there is some idle time for it. Another key benefit is you can just focus on that code, just focus on those individual functions and business logic. without worrying about maintaining the underlying infrastructure another key benefit is auto scaling so without worrying about that infrastructure you can scale on demand automatically and quickly so if your function as a service platform's demand go down it will automatically scale down for you the last but not least benefit is high availability so by being spread across multiple availability zones in different geographic regions you can deploy your function as a service platform in those regions at no incremental cost thank you for joining so this is just a quick overview of function as a service and how it relates to serverless and and other cloud computing service models if you have any questions please drop me a line in the comments do not forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon